Welcome or welcome back. This week I'm doing something slightly different. Tonight I'm going stealth camp and uh, it's just about to get dark so I'm just going to find the spot, get the last of the light and hunker down. Now the, uh, the place I'm going to is actually a viaduct so we'll see. Uh, it's right next to some traffic lights so it's going to be very busy at the moment. Uh, see what we can do. Yeah, there's the pub there, the old gate house. The old yeah, gate house, the old boat house, but yeah, so let's see. As you see, it's still quite busy. Say, first time ever stealth camping, and probably the last. <laughs> so that's basically the uh, crossing we're going to have to go across, across to the pub there, and then walk on the other side of the road there where there's no pavement, and no pavement. Keep walking up on the right hand side. And eventually, we come to a big viaduct. And that, my friends, is going to be home for tonight. There we see it, just on the right up there. Actually, it's fairly quiet at the moment, so I might just go for it. Uh, there's a transit van. Going after this guy, I think. It's getting seen getting in the actual tunnel is the bugger. And there's the police somewhere. I'm just going to go like this. Right across the road. <sighs> ah, I'm just in time to see the police. It's not the kind of thing you want to see when you go stealth camping, that's for sure. Oh well. Hopefully that took everyone's attention away. Here's the tunnel. AKA Viaduct. I'm not even going to hide because these cars are going past. No one's stopping here, so that's my saving grace. And lo and behold, this is where we are going. Success. Right, now we're just going to wait till it gets pretty dark before we think about the setup. Uh, I'm not going to risk lights at the moment, but well, there it's like there. And you can see, I think they tried to fill this tunnel in. Let's just go up here and see what's. So it's rather a bit of a steep hill. There we go, have cars coming that side. But this is uh, such a good little spot. I'm sure Steve Wallace would be proud of this one. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to lie along the wall here. Uh, other way it's out there. That's the flat part there, but that's the most exposed part as well. So, but, so we'll somewhat need to be behind this wall. Uh, I made myself a little coffee. Uh, obviously, you can hear the uh, traffic's quite heavy now, so I'm just going to wait till rush hour uh, dies down a bit. Wait till it gets completely dark, and then uh, no, I've got no tent, no tent tonight. So uh, just to get set up with bivy, bivy sack and sleeping bag, etc. Um, but also, I didn't bring any food because uh, we're going to go eat in the pub tonight. So I mean, it's right there. So why not? the bag stashed and yeah, now seems like a good time to go and get some dinner <laughs> totally seen by that car there they'll be thinking what a weirdo let's uh, try and get off this bit as quick as possible because there's no path here and people will be saying why the hell are you walking down there so just in a little bit still pretty busy as you can see and here Noisy AF. Never a light like an act on. There we go. There's a normal guy going to the pub. It's quite quiet, at least.
Yeah, yeah, just fabulous. Can I grab him a drink at the minute? Yeah, I think it's got a Coke Zero. I've got Pepsi Max on draft. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, but Pepsi Max is fine. Is that all right? Uh, no problem. Cheers. <coughs> camping meal I've ever had. Pub done. Dinner, scran, done. Right, now we just need to uh, make our way back to the camp spot. Oh, I tell you what, it's a bit colder out here it is than it was in there. I just want to get back quickly just in case any uh, anyone stole my bag, which is highly unlikely. Train up above, gonna cross, ride up. Oh. All right. Try not make eye contact with the people in the cars. At least this time there's no police. There's the cars up behind. for a jog. Dinner was delicious. That's the uh, I think that's the best cap meal I've ever had. Uh, probably a bit too much to be honest. Don't feel like doing anything now apart from sleep. So uh, I think it's about half past eight. So I'm going to get the, uh, the campsite set up and then uh, take it from there. Hunker down. There we have camp for tonight. Don't care if it rains because we're going to stay dry. Well, the really thing I'm worried about is foxes, perhaps, because that looks like a fox den in here somewhere, and they'd run right through there. But apart from that, that says movie bag set up. <laughs> this is the setup. Uh, I must say it's actually pretty cozy. I'm, I'm uh, thankful for being dry at least. Tonight, I'm just going to be hunkered right up in here like a, a snake. <laughs> That'll be me for the night. Uh, so I'm gonna sleep. Uh, I'm gonna get right inside the right inside the baby bag. Uh, I think I'm gonna. There's a big bus coming. Excellent. It's probably tunnel's probably lit up like the Fourth of July. Right. So I don't have the lights on too long, but anyway, I'll. Uh, chill out for a bit more. Got the uh, handy 
RG35X, which has over 5,000 games on it. So I'm going to get right in here, play a couple of them, and see. Uh, suddenly busy again. It's like half ten. People coming home from the pub. Anyway, that's going to be me. Time to hunker down. Get this light off. Ugh. If there's no uh, interruptions or foxes or police or vandals, whatever, I will see you in the morning. Good night. Ugh. Five minutes past eight. It's still dark. We're getting light. Uh, noisy once again. I must say, after about twelve o'clock, it was pretty quiet for a while. There's a few trains up above. Uh, the occasional big truck, but in the last hour or so, it's just been hectic. So I've been lying under the covers, trying not to get up. But it wasn't too cold actually. Uh, Ah, it's meant to be, I think it's 0, 20, 32, 32 Fahrenheit, or 20, yeah, 32 Fahrenheit. Um, but I didn't even have to put on the uh, down socks or the or my uh, down jacket. So, I just used my bag for a pillow last night, which is fine. Didn't get disturbed by foxes. So, yeah, a few pluses. Time, yeah, five just after eight o'clock. I don't think I'm gonna hang around making breakfast or eat my coffee. I'm just gonna get here. It's not like normal camping, I think. I mean, I could stay here all day, I think it probably wouldn't be bothered, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get packed up and just get out of here. Too bad a night. One had a great dinner. Two uh, didn't get disturbed. So, as stealth camping goes, I'll say a great success. Yeah, very, very, very busy in the mornings. A very, very busy road. So, up till about ten o'clock at night, it could be quite hectic. But it wasn't too bad, you know. Like sleeping, uh, slept for two, three hours at a time, then woke up, then went back to sleep. So it wasn't too bad. Sun. Sun, I say the sun. It's finally getting light, as you can see up there behind me. So uh, I'm not going to hang around too long today. I am just uh, going to get ready, pack my bag, and uh, get the hell out of here. Right, let's get out of here. Well, there's not much left for me to do except uh, just get out of here. As ever, if you've made it this far, 
and thanks for watching and uh, we might as well give it a like and subscribe why not help this old guy out now i just need to uh, get out into the oncoming traffic and try not try and look a bit into speakers i think i wait for the lights to change thank you for a van here Just a normal bloke walking down the street where you're not meant to walk. So, signing off once again under the weather, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.